Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome to a special episode of Mega Aquarium. Today I'm going to be showing you how to actually cheat in this game. There are a few different mechanisms you can do it. You can use Cheat Engine to try and find the, uh, the different values for your money, but I'm not going to show you that way, I'm going to show you the official way to cheat. If we come into a brand new game here, we can see we've just got one um, on sunny side here. This is the tutorial mission and we'll head in here. And now if I press F1, I'll get $500. And we can keep pressing this. If I press F4, I'll get prestige. And on this level, I can't really show you the, the, the science. I can show you it building up. I can't show you it in action. I can, however, show you the ecology. It's F3 to do the science, and then F2 to do the ecology. So F1, F2, F3, and F4. You can see they are unlocked. Uh, science and prestige. And there's one thing to notice about this film. Now we have just unlocked the Orchid Dotty back here. Now if we work our way through this, so we need to zoom the camera in and press H for, for home. And now we're on to the next level here. So we can build up two basic tanks. So we've got the two basic tanks, we can get the, the two filters and the heaters. The filters on there. And that's completed this one. Uh, we need to add in some fish into these and add some decorations in. So we'll just do this quickly. There you go. And build an orange pellet dispenser, which is here, and a tool station. And then we need to hire an aquarist. And then finally open. Okay, so we've completed that one, that's fine. However, in this one, we have to select your first fish to research as one of the the, uh, the things to unlock the next stage of this. And we can't do that because we've already unlocked it, we've already researched it. There's one thing to, to note when you are cheating in this game, that it will actually stop you from completing certain missions if you research stuff before it is before it's been asked for anyway let's go on to get on to actually how to do this so i'm going to come over into my uh windows here and we've got the, the game directory mine's installed on my second drive in games mega aquarium and then we're in mega aquarium data directory here now the next one you want to go to is in game data and in data and then the file we're looking for here is called gui.data there. And you can pull this up in Notepad, you can pull it up in anything. I've got Notepad++ here. And if we open this, you'll be able to see this is a lot of different stuff to do with the game. And the, the ones we're actually looking for here is cheats equals true here. So this is in JSON format or near enough JSON format with um, uh, comments allowed. And so you, this is by default on false. And by the way, so is this show editor. So this is what you will see um, when you first load up this. If you, however, change this to true, then those cheats will be enabled. I also want to show you debug mode because this is quite special as well. If you turn debug mode to true, and then you actually need to come out of the game and reload it. So let's do that. So now we're coming back into the game, it shows you debug information on the side of the screen here. Um, so you can see the, the amount of memory it's using, the amount of FPS that you're taking up. Um, and then, don't worry about this, this is stuff I've added in. It's for stuff down here. But now if we go to new game, you'll see an entire list full of stuff. It's unlocked the entire game and it's also added in three new uh, things here. It's added in sandbox which is basically just a quick way to get to the, the sandbox here. It's a default sandbox. Um, however there is, you can go into Sunnyside, Northwood, Elmshorn, all of the different ones. There is also two different things down here. You've got a map editor down here. So if we come into this one, um, this is a strange one, which I haven't fully worked out how you're supposed to use it yet. Um, everything costs the same, but you start with zero money. 
And so you can't place anything down because you've got no money. So this is a sandbox with no money. However, you can just give yourself money and then you can start placing stuff down. I think this is so that uh, it's called the map editor. I think the idea for this as the game uh, progresses is that all of this will eventually become free within this mode so that you can save out your own maps to be able to share with people uh, and, and basically create your own scenarios with the game. However, if we go to the other one and go to campaign 98 sandbox here, this is the special one because this gives you 999,999 credits to start with. So you can just go crazy with this and you can expand the land as much as you want. You really go to town, do whatever you like with this, basically. And this is kind of the ultimate cheat mode, I suppose, because as well as having all of that money, everything is already unlocked. So you've got everything in the game available to you in this mode. So I hope that has helped you with this game. Um, if you've been wondering about how to uh, progress and, and make life better for yourself in this game, or if you just want to cheat through all the levels. Uh, the maximum amount of money, by the way, is 999,999, and you cannot go above that. And I think I've managed to get this prestige up to about 12,000, but I haven't really tried anything beyond there. Um, yeah, I haven't really tried much above there. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe on the video to the channel. And join me soon for a modded sandbox series of Mega Aquarium. See you now.